हेलो फ्रेंड्स अक्सर हम बहुत ज्यादा डीप स्टडी करते करते बेसिक कंसेप्ट भूल जाते हैं इसलिए आज मैं लेकर आई हूँ आप सभी के लिए एक बेसिक कंसेप्ट के ऊपर वीडियो इसमें मैं शॉर्टकट टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स भी बताने वाली हूँ सो प्लीज ये वीडियो एंड तक जरूर देखिएगा और इसे लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब भी जरूर कीजिए दिस इज पूजा वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर एलिट अकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट पॉइंट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट शुड बी रिमेम्बर द एलिमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक हीटर इज मेड ऑफ नाइक्रोम सेकेंड पॉइंट एयर हैज लीस्ट डायलेक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ where vacuum has the highest dielectric strength the fourth point is the stroboscope this measuring instrument is used to measure the speed but it is a non contact type and tachometer also used to measure the speed but it is a contact type this point should be remembered because on these points the mcq may ask fifth one electric pressure or electromotive force this is also called as a emf it is it has a unit of volt kilovolt megavolt this is nothing but the force that causes to flow of electrons or current means ye force hai electromotive force this is force which nothing but that causes to flow of electrons always remember the current flows from high potential to low potential from positive to negative next concept is a resistance it is denoted by r and unit is ohm formula for resistance is equals to rho l by a where the rho is the resistivity l is the length and a is the area of that material let's take an example based on the resistance formula the question may ask in such a way that if a conductor is stretch four times of resistance then what is the new resistance here material is same for the resistance 1 and resistance 2 material is same therefore rho 1 and rho 2 it is the resistivity of material it is same only l and a will get change therefore for conductor in first condition let's say l1 a1 and in conductor 2 let's say l2 a2 after stretching four times the l2 becomes four times of l1 from this Take a cross multiplication. Therefore, a two is equals to a two remains here. This will go over here. L one a one upon four times of L one. L one L one will get cancelled. A one upon four. A two is equals to a one upon four. Now apply the formula for resistance. R two is equals to rho two L two upon a two. But what is the value of rho one? L two is equals to four times of L one upon A two is equals to A one by four, which is nothing but the sixteen rho one L one upon A one. This is nothing but the resistance one sixteen times of R one. Therefore, from this we can say that if question asked in this way. Stretch four times, and we have to find out the resistance R two. Then we can directly say that the new R is equals to n square of old R. This n is nothing but the where how many times this is get stretch. Next point: factors affecting to resistance. Now, what is formula for resistance? Rho L upon A. Therefore, resistance is dependent upon the resistivity, and it is directly proportional to rho. It is also dependent on the length of the material, and it is directly proportional to 
length it is also dependent upon the cross sectional area and it is inversely proportional to area and the last one is a temperature there are different types of materials conductor semiconductor insulators and superconductors so for these four materials the resistance and temperature relation is different this concept comes under the temperature coefficient of resistance so let's learn that concept next concept temperature coefficient of resistance it is also called as a tcr and it is denoted by alpha the formula for tcr is equals to change in resistance r to the change in temperature into original r r2 minus r1 upon t2 minus t1 into r1 where this term is nothing but the slope and therefore slope upon r1 from this graph we can say that here you can observe this is minus 234.5 degree celsius temperature at this temperature r is equals to 0 and this type of a material is called as a superconductor at r is equals to 0 the temperature is at minus 234.5 degree celsius and this is called as a superconductor so this tcr tcr is directly proportional to slope if slope is positive tcr is also positive if slope is negative tcr is also negative and if slope is zero tcr is also zero and this is mostly for the materials eureka and magnum these materials having tcr is equals to zero remember eureka and magnum having a tcr zero because these materials are major using for the measuring instruments and there we require the tcr is equals to zero this is very important formula from the mcq point of view alpha t that means tcr at any temperature is equals to tcr at initially 1 plus tcr at original into t2 minus t1 remember this formula this is very important from the mcq point of view now observe this chart if the positive tcr is there the material is a conductor for zero tcr the materials are magnum and eureka negative tcr the insulators and also the negative tcr but the graph in in this way they are represented the semiconductors remember this graph let's check out how we can solve the mcq based on tcr the temperature coefficient of resistance of wire is 0 0.00125 per degree celsius at 300 kelvin its resistance is 1 ohm the resistance of the wire will be 2 ohm at means here we have to find out the temperature the alpha is given tcr is given here t1 is given resistance r1 is given r2 is given but we have to find out the t2 so this is in kelvin we have a formula for alpha alpha is equals to slope upon r1 from this we can rearrange by rearranging r2 is equals to r1 1 plus alpha t2 minus t1 just put all these value over here 2 is equals to 1 1 plus alpha value 0 0.00125 into t2 minus t1 is 300 kelvin convert it into the degree celsius it will be a 27 degree celsius after solving this numerical we will get 827 degree celsius t2 but we need the answer in a kelvin therefore for kelvin conversion 827 plus room temperature to 73 add this you will get 1100 kelvin and this is the answer b 
next mcq referring to the figure the value of alpha 50 will be means we have to find out the tcr at a 50 degree celsius so therefore the figure from this figure t2 is given t1 is 0 this is r2 and this is r1 we know the formula for alpha r2 minus r1 upon t2 minus t1 into r50 original r should be taken therefore alpha 50 is equals to 50 minus 40 upon t2 minus t1 50 into r50 is 50 10 upon 50 into 50 is equals to 0 0.004 per degree celsius option number b thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to our elite academy youtube channel thank you